All right, fellas, we needed that one. The Sixers look good, and they win in game four. They were down 3-0. We now make it 3-1. There were some switches in this game, but before we begin, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I mean, let's be real, fellas. This one's pretty obvious. TJ McConnell. What? Robert Covington hits the bench. TJ McConnell gets the start. The spark was there. The defense was there. Shut down Rozier. Shut down the Boston Celtics offensively. And may I add, he had 19 points of his own with 7 rebounds and 5 assists. Our best player. Our best player was TJ McConnell on the floor. Ah! Dario Scharch was up there as well as he dropped 25 and grabbed 8 boards. TJ. TJ. Come on. We dominated in the post. We dominated in the paint. We dominated on the glass. And why can't we just do that a couple games ago so we're not down 3-1? to one? Oh, Let's dissect this one a little bit. So Shane Larkin leaves the game. He had some sort of shoulder injury. You could tell he went right away to it. Covington looks like ass early on. 0-4 again. I mean, he eventually ends up finally hitting something. He was 1 of 7 from the field. But, man, uh, when he's off, he's off. He did have some decent defensive plays here and there. At one point, he had a huge block on Baines. But they call it a foul. I mean, come on now, fellas. He hit all ball. <sighs> TJ McConnell's driving baselines, getting an O board, out rebounding Baines, and puts it back for two. I mean, he was doing everything. With two minutes left in the second quarter, the Sixers go on a nice 8 0 run. And then Embiid and Rozier get into a little bit of a physical match. It looks like Rozier gives a little punch. There was a turnover because Rozier actually hits JJ Reddick in the face, so Embiid goes up to him trying to get the ball. But they give us both double checks. And B then hits a three. The place gets loud. Rozier comes down, hits a three, responds. Let's talk about the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers rivalry right there. Let's go. Let's go. And nine turnovers for Boston at this point. And that's, you know, that's not like them at all. But is that forced because of great defense by TJ McConnell? 47-43 Sixers, Sixers at the half after a huge dunk. Let's go, fellas. At this point, I put in my notes that there will be a TJ McConnell tattoo on my body at some point in my lifetime. Ben Simmons looks a little bit shaky on defense by Jason Tatum. I mean, Tatum's making moves. I'm like, whoa, whoa, Ben, come on now. What is happening? Jalen Brown gets five fouls. He gets teed up. Brad Stevens gets teed up. Is this the genius move by Brad Stevens? Well, it didn't work today, Brad. Did not work today. Up 11, heading into the fourth. At this point, Dario Saric has 16 points. Here comes the fourth quarter. The points in the paint at this point is clearly the difference. I mean, plus 20. You know what I'm saying? TJ at this point in the game in the fourth quarter has 15 and 7. We hear some oohs and ahs as he's driving the lane. I know I keep bringing it up, but stop. I mean, come on. Come on. We actually had good D down this stretch. I was surprised. We were forcing them sometimes to be a little bit hurried with the basketball, pushing them outside the perimeter. Robert Covington with a terrible shot selection, just pulling up with six minutes left in the game while we're up. It's like, let, what, why? Why? On top of that, Ben Simmons with 421 left, or 330 left, I'm sorry, with 330 left in the game. We we're up. 10 and he wants to hail mary it across the length of the court and goes out of bounds on us why are you rushing ben why what is going on with ben can someone tell me what's going on with ben right now is he nervous is he shook i mean he had 19 points 13 rebounds and five assists tonight so statistically on the stat sheet it didn't look that bad but what's happening to his mental it's mental errors it's mental errors but you know what? At the end of the day, the Sixers escape the sweep. We finally switch something up. We start TJ McConnell. I mean, that's obviously giving the Celtics a little bit of a struggle. So what are we going to do moving forward? Some things I did not like. Markel Fultz is still not seen a minute. 
Holmes has still not seen a minute. Now, we won. We won. And guys like Dario stepped up big time, and that's the difference maker. He wasn't putting up 25-8 and eight in the games past. I mean, obviously, Robert Covington getting kicked to the curb on the bench, and TJ plugging in 19. Now, I can't imagine TJ doing this every single night, but that's huge. J.J. Redick with a quiet night, only hit one three-pointer, he had seven points, and beat 15-13. and 13. Oh, man, oh, man. Was that nice to see, though. Finally, pull one, and the team looked good. But can we do it in Boston in Game 5? If we do, things are going to get a little bit interesting. Did this spark a little bit of confidence for this club? Is this is this ball club a little bit more confident now going into Boston? I don't want to. The thing is, I don't want to get my hopes up too much. I mean, no one's ever came back from a 3-0 series, so I don't want to get my hot my hopes up too much because then it hurts that much more. So I'm just going to take this one step at a time. We can enjoy this one for the moment, and we will head into. The Boston TD Garden on Wednesday, down 3-1. to one. Oh, It was nice, though. I'll be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not blowing the load. Oh, it was nice. It was nice. And I'm excited to see what we put together on the court moving forward to see if we can plug away a win in the Garden. I'm, I'm just saying, if there was a way, I'm not getting ahead of myself, but if there was a way to win one game in the Boston Garden, in the Garden, on Wednesday, coming home for Game 6 would be electric. So, uh, do I have faith for our team to win one game? I mean, one game, right? For, for the chance of an electric Wells Fargo. Uh, I don't want to get my hopes up, fellas. I don't, I don't, I don't. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I need to hear it. I need to. We got the dub, fellas, down 3-1. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.